All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the vlogcast. Today's episode is sponsored by Drake's Organic Spike Dice. Uh, I got some of the rum right here. Some of the rum is what it takes to make some of the spike dice, and some of their vodka is what it takes to make some of the spike dice as well. Uh, they have white rum, dark rum. Uh, you could buy uh, Drake's Organic Spike Dice if you were 21 or and older, living in uh, California, Portland, Arizona, and I, I think some other ones. But like, I'm out here in California, man. We're really pushing the product. We also. Uh, we got them in bigger sizes, and uh, let's uh, let's get into it, man. Oh man, I thought that was gonna be a way cooler <laughs> intro than it was. Uh, I just kind of started like really going off. You know uh, what it is, man? What it is that I think should have happened is I should have started talking as this started because right now we're just kind of riding the wave. I was getting ready for a big punch at the beginning of this podcast, but it is what it is, man. And uh, <clears throat> We're out here in California. Uh, we're doing a little bit of lazy content today because I realized it's literally been over 40 days since I have uploaded to this channel. And that's just completely unnecessary. So, uh, you know, here's something that I can do because I'm incredibly busy. Uh, tonight at 5.30, I have to go to an event. By the way, my official job title, brand ambassador. How sick is that? Uh, I, I live in Los Angeles now. Close to Hollywood, I've, I've been performing in, uh, in big name clubs. I met Chris D'Elia the other day, and now I have a podcast, which I've always had the vlogcast. It's just like, right now I have to, uh, right now I have to film on my own, you know? And uh, it is what it is, and I'm, I'm sorry I, uh, I stopped that audio before the drop. That's just too terrible, isn't it? Uh, also, I can't use uh, my studio microphone, so we're rocking webcam uh, audio right now, and I hope that's okay with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm sure you'll be, it'll be just okay with that. But uh, what happened, man? What happened? I have a whole vlog coming out as soon as I decide to edit. And, you know, I didn't have time to edit this morning. You know, that'll explain everything. But I'm also going to explain everything without, like, you know, the visual <laughs> instruments besides, uh, besides this podcast. Uh, I got a job offer from my uncle who started this uh, alcohol company like right after I quit sickies. And you know what? That's been my life ever since. I, uh, I was out here before Thanksgiving, flew back home for Thanksgiving, drove back out with my computers and my whole entire life. If you have me on Snapchat or other social media, you've been like, you know, keeping up with what's been going on. But, you know, if you just know me on YouTube, you're like, man, this dude quit his job and he probably had to sell all his shit. He's fucked. But uh, I actually ended up okay, man. I like how I'm trying to, like, you know, reach my arm back here and find a, you know, more comfortable position. Also, the bed's not made. My life's a mess. And it's Jade Hastings' birthday. Mm, I'm having not you, Siri. Uh, yeah, you know what? It's the downside of the Apple Watch. You get all of your notifications on your wrist. And then you're like, fuck, man, you know, I got to check my phone because you can't really open Snapchat on there. And then you really just, you know, you think you're going to save time by having information here, but it really just redirects you here. So, you know, it is what it is. And it looks nice. Got a sponsored event tonight. That's pretty titties. You got to be there at 530. And uh, did I give you guys my official title? What is it? Brand endorser? Brand ambassador. That's what I am. I'm a brand ambassador. I am officially a representative of Drake's Organic. Uh, it's 12 times distilled, USDA approved. USDA organic, gluten free, non GMO, uh, certified vegan. Um, what time is it? 12.30? Oh, it's 12.30 North Dakota time. What? Jesus, I woke up that early? It's only 10.30 for me. That was the plan. I'm like, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to wake up and I'm going to shoot a podcast and I'm just going to drop that shit because I need content that's just constantly being uploaded. And if I'm busy running all over Los Angeles and trying to perform at comedy clubs, like I just, you know, I don't have the time to sit down and do some six hour edit so you guys have 10 minutes of pleasure. But, you know, the very least I could do is talk to you guys. You know, 
And also, it's good practice being able to carry a conversation completely by yourself. You know, a little narcissistic and conceited, maybe, but, you know, a good skill? Probably. Mm, Who I'm knows? Shut up, Siri. Jesus. Like, I want to talk to you. And, of course, you guys have to get notifications on my computer, too. So that's great. Um, <laughs> yeah, man. Welcome to the vlogcast. Uh, you know, maybe this would be the time of the show where I try to find some uh, some goofy news is for us to uh, for us to indulge ourselves in. And you know, I'm always down for some goofy news. I'm not necessarily even caught up to what's going on in the world today. All I could tell you is, you know, impeachment and stuff like that. But we ain't gonna talk politics on the vlogcast, guys. You know what it is. We're too classy for that shit. Um, wow, dark news today, <laughs> really dark news today, man. The Pope removes shroud of secrecy from sex abuse cases. Uh, I don't even know what that means, but I'm sure he did it. Look at him, man, he's too old to not touch kids. If I ever get to 70, I'm taking myself out before I do it. I'm just kidding, that's so fucked up. Not gonna happen. But if you ever see me, like, you know, going to, like, get myself, like, you know, some robes and shit... Spend a lot of time at the Vatican, you know, call my ass in. This shit's be getting scary then. Uh, <laughs> wow. Bad articles today. How to cut... What? Okay, you know what? Fuck that, dude. We're not even reading the news, dude! You think we need to read the news to be mildly entertaining in this vlogcast? No. Shut the fuck up. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And though it would help... Oh, dude, is Davin online? He's not. He's always wanted to be a guest on the vlog. Guess, look at me! I'm already fucking, like... We're literally seven minutes in. <laughs> seven minutes into this experience, and I'm already trying to rely on some other fucking shit to do. What kind of bullshit is that, man? What kind of bullshit is that? Let's talk personally, because honestly, like, I need to decompress some of the shit that's been going on in my life. Uh, for those of you who followed me on Twitter, know I had to leave my family dog to come out here. That was emotional. Uh, there's a puppy here at my aunt's house. I I'm staying at my aunt's until I get my own apartment in January and move in, and then I just live in Los Angeles, and then I plan to steal the family dog and have him be an L.A. puppy. Uh, it, which is, which would be amazing, you know, but it's just my little sister at home now. God, there's a lot going on. Let me explain this. Okay. So I moved out of my apartment to go to California and then my little brother moved into my apartment and, uh, you know, started paying me rent directly cause he really liked the place. And I'm like, fuck yeah, you know, you could take care of my fish. Uh, you know, good can come out of this. And then that left just my little sister, my dog, and my parents at home, you know, and she's not super happy about that. And I guess the dog's been depressed because every time he comes over to my brother's house, my apartment, I'm not there. And, you know, I was just bawling before I left. I'm like, how is the dog going to gonna understand that I'm gone, you know? You can't really explain to a dog that you're just gone for an excessive amount of time without them like thinking you died or don't love them you know what i mean so saying goodbye to him was you know emotional i cried a lot while i did it so i hope hopefully now that he goes over he understands that i was saying goodbye to him god that's so dark man i don't think i could get another pet until buddy's like gone you know what i mean because like any other like relationship like with an animal that like I live with, you know, feels like cheating, feels like pe cheating, <laughs> like peeing. You give them like a fucking ear scratch or some shit, you know, you're flirting, you're flirting. That's cheating, you dirty devil, you dirty dust devil. You, as Theo Vaughn would say. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, maybe I could even pull this up. I uh, I got I had a Twitter conversation with comedian Theo Vaughn. So that was, uh, that was neat. Oh, great. I have to log in. Hopefully my password's the same. Oh, look, it's not the same. Dude, nothing is ever the same, bro. Do you just want to see what I'm dealing with right now? I'm trying to sign into Twitter so I could fucking, uh, 
whatever, show you this conversation with Theo Vaughn. This is the uh, this is the upside. If you have you know like a young Jamie or so, yeah, dude, we're not getting in Twitter. Fuck that. And if you were wondering how I got my copy strike free music, YouTube. Oh, that doesn't sound hype at all. Sound effects. All right. Oh, okay, yeah, like, I just want to listen to a full thunderstorm. Who the fuck is using that for their YouTube video? Oh, great, now my aunt saw him, so I'm literally not going to be able to fucking podcast right now. That's just fucking great. And she's on the phone, too. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put her dog back, because I've just been letting him walk around the house, because I hate to see him fucking locked in someplace. I know. I know. He so well behaved. It's like, how can I not? How can I not? I know, we just had that whole talk on cheating, huh? That's awful. I'm cheating on Buddy right now. But my aunt just got a new puppy. So we've been hanging out. And he was just cozy hanging out in the living room. So. It is what it is. And she's back now. So I'm going to have to be like, oh, I'm not just awkwardly talking to myself. Yeah, but it's a podcast, so it's not weird. It's totally normal to talk to yourself for, like, 60 minutes. Which is really what I'm trying to make this podcast to. Which, how difficult is that shit, man? It's like you want to carry a conversation for 60 minutes with yourself? You know, good luck. Like, I'm going to try my best. But, so far. Where'd you just go, dude? That was the whole point of this podcast, is I didn't want to edit anything. Russell! Come here, man. Come here. Oh, man. Zero edits for the win. Minimal effort. Cute dog. Fuck me, right? What time is it? See, now I'm concerned about... Dude... Welcome to the vlogcast, man. How about some more music? This one's called Jukebox. You know what? You get to choose your mood. Let me show you guys. Let me show you what's up here. Okay. Ooh, kind of feel it, but not really. How about something inspirational, but also rap? <laughs> this one's new. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what? No, I'm not feeling it. Can you tell these are free? Moist! The name of this one's just moist, dude. And that's another thing, dude. I get like dumb notifications like when YouTube tweets on here. It's like, dude, am I really gonna, really gonna need to know when they're you know, just in case they're rolling out a policy, I might need to know that. Hey, come here, Russman. R Russell found the Twinkie wrappers. What is it, 10.30 in the morning, man? And this podcast is already just going completely south? I, I don't know what that calls for. Some USDA. Organic, son. And by the way, you know it's classy when it comes with a cork, huh? What's the last thing you ever saw come with a cork? Some wine or some Henny? And you know you're a classy gentleman if you're drinking Hennessy. So you have to just be, you know, a suit wearing son of a bitch if you're drinking drinks. God, that is smooth. 10.30 though. Just a little bit to take the nerve off. Isn't it ridiculous? The comedian Chris D'Elia hasn't drank a day in his life. 
He just never thought he would. And he jokes about it in his special. I, uh, it hasn't come out yet, but I saw him perform it before it came out. It's gonna be great, but it's just like, wow. Yeah, I mean, how'd you make it that long? And you know, apparently he keeps one on deck just in case he ever is. Uh, let's do a little perspective thing right now. In Grand Forks, North Dakota, it is one degrees. And here, it is 49. Which actually, you know, isn't really that impressive. Considering it got up to 25 in Grand Forks yesterday. And that's literally over, you know. It's still like a little bit more than half, half the temperature that we are here right now. But it also, you know, it gets up to the 70s and stuff, so that's pretty tight. But, you know, am I accomplishing much? No. Did I prefer having the music in the background? Yeah, a little bit. But how, how could I not? You know, it kind of just, it adds so much to like just my whole headspace and the way that I'm thinking right now. Maybe I could even like, there we go. Turn it down just a little bit more. And now we're rolling. Russell, what you doing over there, pal? <sighs> the vlogcast, man, I tell you. Some of the craziest times. God, I want to joke about that new Cats movie, but Chris already did that. Um. I think my aunt just walked out. Oh, she's probably on the she's probably on the phone with the plumber, dude. So uh, I woke up this morning and the and the shower blew up. Not really, but like stuff blew up from the shower. So I'm sure it's an easy fix. You just you know throw some Drano in that hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. It's all good. We can deal with that. No problem, man. No problem. Uh, I've been spending a lot of time in the car. Probably like. Eight hours, eight hours a day driving. Camera bought a new BMW. I got all that footage. I got a lot of footage of everything. You know what I mean? And honestly, I could probably get a good chunk of editing done within an hour. Because I'm not really being too productive here, but I also feel like this is a good life skill. It won't hurt. You know what I mean? This song's called Wonton. It's so offensive. Doesn't sound Chinese at all. I'm just kidding. I think of wontons. Chinese, Japanese, I don't know. I'm offensive too. It's okay. Hey, how sick is it that my company has Nike hats? You know what I'm saying? We got the Nike logo on our brand. Classy. Definition of class. It would be good to have like, you know, an Ethan Klein set up right now where I have just like a whole bunch of other people I could like semi sort of rely on. And there's always a hot topic of news that, uh, that gets discussed when people are doing these sorts of things. So, you know what? We'll kind of figure out this first vlogcast together. We'll get all caught up. I wish I could like answer questions in live time. I do live stream on Twitch if you guys want to follow me. Uh, vlog underscore master. And you could hit me with them real time questions. But it's not like I have a schedule of when I do it. It's like I just kind of, I do it when I have the time now. So... That's fine, you know. Russell, what are you doing, man? What do you think that's a toy? Come on, get that out of here. Get that out of here, pal. He's playing with the, uh, playing with Twinkie wrappers. Um, what do we, what's trending? I can't see what's trending on Twitter because I can't sign in. There's really like no like big headliner. <laughs> okay, we'll read this. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not that funny. Air Force uh, General, North Korea Christmas gift could be long range missile test. Like, oh, that's. It's gonna be fine. Oh, come on. Well, okay. There we go. 
A top U.S. Air Force general on Tuesday said he expects North Korea's Christmas gift to the United States to be a long-range missile test. Why would I expect... Why would I expect is sometime... What? Who writes these? Oh, it's what I would expect. Excuse me, guys. I am dyslexic. <laughs> what I would expect is some type of long-range ballistic missile would be the gift. It's just a matter of does it come in on Christmas Eve? Does it come in on Christmas Day? Does it come after New Year's? Gen General Charles Brown, commander of Pacific Air Force. Okay, first of all, okay, have less titles. If you're going to be a general, you know, just be a general. Don't be a commanding general of Pacific Air Forces. Oh, you're all good. Oh, I know if I was your thing. Oh, for sure. He's just yeah. he's just playing with the box. No worries. I'll take him out for party and stuff. You're oh, for sure. Him. Are you going to be back for a while? Yeah, I'm going to be here for a little bit. I'll take him potty and then... I don't, know. I don't have a ton of time to edit anymore, so I'm trying to do little podcasts that I can upload. I don't have them. Is he all good? Yeah, I just didn't have them. Oh, for I sure. I have to hold them a certain way. Come on. Okay. Hi, buddy. God, this is great. <laughs> uh, whatever, dude. Honestly, if North Korea does anything, they ain't doing much. Because, A, I bet we could, you know, shoot whatever it is down that they're shooting. And, B, we could push a button and just say goodbye to North Korea. But, you know, apparently we're like good people or something, so we don't we do not do that sort of thing. Uh, President Trump said he would be disappointed if that happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I would be disappointed if something like that would be in the works. And if it is, we will take care of it. It's, you know, it's Trump for you. I know I said this won't get political, and that didn't really get too political, but, you know. I, I wish North Korea would, you know, like, fucking good luck, you dirty motherfuckers. Shout out South Korea, though. Beautiful women up there. And I'm sure you got some other stuff going for you, too. Uh, I equate to good country with women. <laughs> If you got good, healthy, happy, beautiful women, your country's on the right track. Um, okay, don't really care about this, but I guess the Star Wars, uh, the Star Wars trailer, you know, made some news. I could see if there's any trending trailers on YouTube. We could react to those together. That'll be tight, huh? Yeah. Oh, here it is. All right. Heck yeah, dude. You know what? We will react to the Star Wars trailer. That is fine. And watch how I lose. <laughs> watch as I lose every single bit of revenue reacting to this. So we're going to react to it like, you know, the average person does reaction in, in bits. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me turn it up. I'm sorry. Okay. Wait, is this a game? Is this the video game? Start, oh, it is the video game. Okay, never mind. So this isn't this isn't what I thought I was gonna watch. But first of all, let me say EA makes just fucking awful games. All right, let's keep going. Let's go! Oh wow, let's go. What is it? I just it. okay. It looks good. It looks good. But I just have such low expectations for uh for like anything these guys put out i i literally cannot remember the last time the ps2 ps2 they put out a fire star wars game but everything else has just been completely littered with in-app purchases like zero maps on launch and you know ea has overall just you know completely shot themselves in the foot uh and you know I, I probably spoke too soon about Call of Duty with that because they really flipped things around this year with Modern Warfare. You got free DLC, and that's really all you could ask for. You know what I mean? An unlimited amount of maps. Everyone gets to play. Everyone gets to unlock stuff through progression in the Battle Pass, even if you have the free one. And so far, 
Uh, I've spent like $60 on cosmetics because I am a piece of shit. But I am so thankful that, uh, you know, they have free maps for all my scummy bummy friends that never bought the DLC. Because there'd always, you know, it would always be me that bought, that bought the map pack and like, you know, got the season pass or whatever. And the, the other boys would be like, why would I spend money on that? It's like, so we could play the new maps together, you dunce. But now you don't have to worry about that. You get the new maps. But EA historically has been terrible with that. Off to the trailer. <laughs> like I'm not even reacting to the trailer. Wow, look at that ball. Look at that. That's not that little ball, dude. <laughs> wow. You see, uh, I see some explosions going on in the background. Definitely an EA trailer. You, you could tell. Uh, you could tell that guy's probably going down in the next couple frames here. Oh, look at that. How? How? How did I know? All right. Wow, oh, that's a. It's a big Gatling gun right there. It's okay, you don't feel bad about them dying because they're just clones. So. Dude, real talk though, who is the original clone? Is it just some Ted, you know? Just, just a bunch of Kevins. You know what I mean? They're all clones of some guy named Kevin and they all wear the same white suit. It's <laughs> another way to think about it. I was never a big Star Wars guy. Maybe they have an origin. I don't know. We just wanted something to react to that was small and like that a bunch of other people are going to react to. So we're not going to give it strike. And it is what it is. We're 26 minutes into this podcast and we're really, really shooting for that hour, baby. <laughs> wow. Oh no. Oh god, I bet it's Vader. Oh, it's it's Vader. Is it? Or is it like Vader's son? Who is that guy? And I like how he has the cracks on the helmet. Like he got it in battle, but he's definitely wearing some like weatherproof under armor snowboarding type fucking shit. <laughs> you know? Just in case. You know, gotta stay bundled. You know, when I'm out, uh, you know, taking over the world and shit. Only the helmet took damage, you know. It is what it is. Fucking guy. Oh, okay. Now it's definitely a fashion statement. Because you got the, you know, the icy whites. You got the fucking bloods out here. You got, you know, he's just a mixture of like, yeah, I don't know. what. Are, are we villains here or are you guys gay? Be honest, there's nothing wrong with being gay, but you need to come out with the fucking snazzy outfits and just, it is what it is. Like, this is, uh, you know, they didn't have gay rights. Dude, plot twist, uh, the enemy's really just been fighting for gay rights the whole, uh, the whole series. So they could, they could dress, dress like they want to. Watch it down! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a lightsaber. Who is she? We got, okay, worst reaction ever. <laughs> worst reaction ever. Uh, he's so proud, dude. He's hitting it, though. Oh, never mind. They're enemies. Dude, I like how my first thought... <laughs> I see that she's, like, you know, a rel relatively attractive computer-generated character. I'm like, oh, for sure he's hitting it, bro. Like, what, <laughs> what's wrong with me? Least productive trailer ever. Oh, uh, not you, Siri. Come on. Oh, Chewbacca. Oh, they got some main characters in there. Oh, there's the Vader man. Well, who was the other guy? Was that Darth Maul? I don't know. No, that's Darth Maul, dude. I remember him because my old neighbor, Tark Paranika, used to, like, have one of those. We used to have lightsabers growing up, and he had, like, the Darth Maul one that was, like, the dually one. Uh, what else about Tark Paranika, man? That kid was a... The kid was a trip. He'd always say dig a ditch, dig a dig a ditch, dig a dodge, dig a dig a ditch. And that's all I can tell you about Park Dark Paranika is Darth Maul and dig a ditch, dude. Okay, so they look great. Okay, Yoda looks. He looks damn good. He looks damn good. The you know the coders did a great job of <laughs> keep reacting. This just really seems like a visual display thing, though. Like I don't. Uh, I don't know if I've learned too much about the- Oh, okay, so it's gonna be ray trace for sure. Oh! So this is what the RTX trailer was for, like, six years ago. I have to pause again, give it a moment to comment, whatever, make the commentary legal. 
Wow. Wow. Celebration edition. Okay, so you know what? Buy or upgrade now. Yeah, let's see how many different versions of this bullshit they decide to put out. Uh, Battlefront 2... Star... Lit... Are they... Are they all the same thing? Characters from every era. We're just gonna shit them all together. We got some guy named Todd that does computer coding. He's been working really hard. He, he put them all in there. They all pretty much have the same moves, but they're there. Uh, overview. How do I know which one I could buy, dude? How many 20 editions of this game do you have? And which one do you actually get all the DLC? Real answer, none of them. Uh, let's see if, let's see if there's something else we could react to, maybe. That was terrible, though, huh? I know what you're thinking. No, please don't. Don't spend any more time reacting to that bullshit. Uh, oh, yeah, YouTube removed iDubs' content cop, which is, you know, unfortunate. It sucks for them. Uh, like, I need a notifications for when Activision tweets. It's just in case they roll out like a good Call of Duty update. I'm like, yeah, I better ring that bell. Like, thank God I have uh, I have notifications if Call of Duty ever does something. That's just, uh, that's just phenomenal. Um, is there anything else in the big, big news, man? Oh, there's a new Top Gun movie. I love Top Gun growing up. But I don't think uh, many of you guys are going to have that same nostalgia. 6 9 can be released within, uh, within 72 hours, according to Attorney. I don't know if we're ready for that. I mean, I'm ready for that, but like, I don't know if we as a population are ready for that. Because there's, there's a, you know, I'd say at least 2% of us that Takashi used to hang out with. Uh, and, then, and they're just going to kill that guy about it as quickly as they can he denied witness protection dude because i think he realized that he's fucked if he does witness protection because you know yeah i think he thought about his career more than he thought about his face but like dude look at your face what are you gonna do if you're out at jail you know what i mean like you stand no chance you're first to go anyway Go to witness protection in the Bahamas, work like in the back at like a kitchen someplace, never able to get laid, then some bitch on vacation recognizes it's you, she has some boyfriend named something that's not offensive that I was just gonna crack as a joke, and they kill you. I don't know. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> Dude. How much is Billie Eilish popular right now? She uploaded a video, uh, or no, Rolling Stone uploaded a video. Billie Eilish in finesse breaks down her hit song, Bad Guy. Like, whoa. Okay, first of all, hottest 17-year-old ever. Oh my god, what are you, Drake? You're going to jail. But be honest, dude. Okay, the media sold Billie Eilish to everyone as just, like, an icon and a beautiful symbol. Dude, can I say that? Can I say that? How Drake of me is that? Dude, that's terrible. Yeah, Billie Eilish is like, dirt ugly, bro. Hope she fucking never turns 18. Uh, <laughs> that even sounds worse, dude. What the fuck? Fuck child. Our bad baby, dude. How much do they push her on fucking, you know, everyone? Back when that was the thing. I think she's still doing stuff, just not, like, to the extent she was doing stuff, you know, when she first popped off. Ah, <sighs> stardom is weird. I got a dab card here. I've just been contemplating hitting it. You know, it's that we're at the 34 minute mark. I'm afraid we won't make it to 60 if I uh, if I do anything I shouldn't do here. Definitely can't react to music videos. Oh, we could. It just won't be that fun. Um, six couples versus one fake couple. Okay, of course, yeah, never mind. Fuck that. Oh. Telemarketer, dude. This is the entertainment, entertainment we needed. 
fuck yeah. Here we go. Hello? Hi, yeah, this is Anna, and I'm going to a recorded mine. Now, um, I show here that you were recently on one of our job sites. Hey, Anna. Can you hear me okay? Anna? Anna? Hi, yeah, this is Anna, and I'm an employment specialist. Right, okay. I recorded mine. Can it, you hear me it, okay? If I say the number seven, can you repeat that number? If I say seven, I'm can, sorry, what? if I say seven, can you say seven? I'm just making sure this isn't a recording, and I'm actually talking. To, oh, look at that! I don't even get to fuck with some bitch named Anna, because these hoes ain't even real, dude. They don't even exist. And you know what? I just realized how loud I was fucking talking when I took these headphones off, because the truth is, they're only so I could hear the background of whatever I'm listening to. Which, you know, hasn't been much. Let's get high. I could do that in California now. Did you know, allegedly, I smoked pot in Grand Forks, but you'll never know. <laughs> it's decriminalized, but you'll never know if I did or didn't. But uh, out here, man, I've been getting high every day. I, you know, not a good singer, but I've been getting high every day. Every day. Dude, how shitty is everything to react to today, man? Video... <laughs> how much of a search is it videos to react to? Should I react to Billie Eilish reacting to teens reacting to Billie Eilish? No. But there was about five people that were watching this and said yes, and then left the video after I said no. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy shit. Here's what we're going to react to. Rappers. <coughs> react to. Oh. Yeah, I'm high. God. I bought a I bought a twenty dollar dab cart the other day called Dab Woods. Not that good. Then I bought and that was a full gram of dabs for twenty dollars. Okay? And then I bought a half gram of uh some way better shit for like forty dollars. Dude, they pay a little bit of extra money, bro. Would you rather just be steady smoking on swag or like just periodically hitting some fucking swag, dog? Oh, my bet! <laughs> my bet is you're gonna you're gonna pick option number two every time, man. Six nine has officially ratted everyone out. Oh boy, six nine has ratted everyone out. How can I? How can we? Uh... Including trippy oh, red trippy and red. red. Furious wow. Out. Okay, you know what I just realized this video is going to be? It's not going to be straight reactions. It's going to be, uh... This time around. Yeah. It's going to be, uh... It's going to be this guy reacting to people reacting to him, which is what I'm trying to do. Two, six, nine. There we go. Um... Yeah, this is the one I just tried to watch. It was two months ago. Dude, does everyone upload the same videos? That sucks, man. I feel like I'm out here with original content. Like, when I actually upload. Obviously not when I'm trying to do this lazy fucking bullshit. Which is literally something I'd never do. But, uh... You know, podcasting's a good talent to have. And now that I've been doing, doing stand-up com comedy... <sighs> Jesus, I'm high. Fuck's in this shit. <laughs> now that, uh... Now that I'm doing stand-up comedy, uh, you know, every fucking comedian has their own podcast. And the best comedians are able to handle that podcast on their own if they don't have a guest host. And, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't live with my friends anymore. So, guess what, guys? I'm hosting my own podcast.
And this first one is be is a little rough, mainly because uh, I've mentioned how many times it's a little rough, but it is what it is. Uh, what else can I tell you about what I'm doing for my job today? I'm going to an event in Hollywood that we're sponsoring, and I am being a brand ambassador, which is my job. Dude, I get my own fucking business cards. How fucking wet will pussies get when I hand them a brand ambassador card for a business? And how immature am I that that's my first thought? Of like how wet being a brand ambassador will make pussies, dude. That's so sick. I need a soundboard, dude. I want my own fucking soundboard if I'm gonna have my own fucking show. That's like, you know, bare minimum shit right there. Rappers react to 6 9 being released? You guys will not believe. Uh, you guys will not believe. Okay, you know what? That guy sounds like a genius. Like how I give him no chance to. I just hear another guy in the video and I get defensive. It's like, no, I'm the only voice talking over celebrities. <laughs> you know? Can't be me and one other guy. God, that dab fucked me up, dude. Holy shit. I need a water or something, but... I don't want to... I need a water or something, dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> I want some copy strike free music while I get a water. Ah, this song's called Immortal. That's what I'm feeling right now, boy. You know what it is. Oh, dude, how much of a me thing would it be to freestyle? Do it! I could look up rap beats, but I'm not sure like which ones will give me copy strikes or not, because I gotta go straight over the beat. You know what I mean? Like, normally you have to pause. Ah. you don't know what ASAP means. Yeah, Lord forbid. Ugh. Wow, does everyone have fucking videos on 6 9 or what? Everyone's like, oh, I guess that's what we're talking about. What an awesome day to be 6 9 dude. Like, for real. You spent that much time being, like, just a fucking terrible guy, and still you're gonna, like, interrupt the entire news cycle with your f face. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever met, like, a fucking uglier motherfucker that p gets more pussy than anyone? I'll wait. You know what I mean? Comment in the comment section below if you're even still watching at this point in the podcast the ugliest person you know that still somehow gets pussy and fucking let me know that shit but you know god is it time for another ad roll I, or ad read i think it is <coughs> the vlogcast is brought to you by drake's organic uh you can find drake's organic at bevmo pavilions costco ralph's and stater bros and other stores. We're uh, we're in a lot of smaller liquor stores too, which is tight, tight. We got Drake's for days, dude, dude. What time is it? Is it time for another pull? It's five o'clock somewhere. Did you know a lot of people in California start drinking like way earlier than five o'clock? And they're like, yeah, dude, but you know we're socializing. It's like, did. I thought everybody out here would casually smoke pot, but no, they drink as much as North Dakota, it feels like. And North Dakotans drink a lot. 
I've never really been a big drinker, and now I finally have the opportunity to try pot, because I never smoked it back there. Why would I break the law? That is just foolish. I got those little teeth flossers recently. Dude, like the little plastic ones, they're probably bad for the environment, but like super worth it. I can like literally feel the difference in my teeth, which is disgusting. You know, you got to think of, you know, how <coughs> I've historically never been a great flosser. I do sometimes, but those just make you floss so much better. And you got like the little scraper on the side so you could like get all the excess plaque and just have some clean little chops. Chomps. Chops. Is it chomps or chops? I don't know. I have no idea. Dude, I like how like if you're still here, you're literally just watching a high person talk to himself. But if you think about it before that, you were literally just watching a sober person talk to himself. Well, his aunt came home, bro. I'm living at my aunt's house until I find an apartment. That's how fucking cozy my life is. I literally just got here, unpacked my shit, and was, you know... <coughs> yeah, I guess that's how you move in someplace. You, unpa you unpack your shit and you're there. Uh, what else, man? I, uh, I did the same thing at every hotel I stayed at. Every time that I would go to a hotel, like, on the way out to California, I would literally stop and unpack my whole, you know, group of things. Like, uh, my computers and shit. God damn, I'm high. Uh, like, I, I, <laughs> bro, I swear. <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd unpack my computers so I could game each night. And then if you have me on Snapchat, you saw that shit. Dude, I... I need to upload more, dude. I act like I want to be a fucking YouTuber, but I can't, you know, I can't be influential and, you know, do what I'm supposed to do if I'm not uploading, man. And editing's just so much work. <laughs> so I'd rather just ramble like a madman for an hour? No, I would rather edit, but, like, the truth is I just, uh, I gotta get out and just get straight to, uh... What? What? Do I get an automated message asking me about impeachment? Like, okay. I thought I heard something in the house, too. Not sure if I did, but I definitely got an automated, like, message asking me about impeachment. So, dude, how many fucking spam phone calls do you get? Rhetorical question. It's a lot. You get a lot of spam calls. I got an outlook on whatever's on my monitor. I just got to back out to the main thing. There. I have a VPN running. Uh, let me, uh, so I won't give away my location to you guys when I show you this. This is cool. Um, I'm going to show you the Drake's Organic website. And then you could uh, you can see how busy I am and why I don't have time to edit. All right. So where is it saying my location is right now? Because that's not true. Oh, hey, it still put me in California. I, I'm somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, I'll give that much of my location away. But uh, it's, that's not where I'm at. Um, yeah, I actually, I know I'm not going to give them a sponsorship. They actually just had some issues, the VPN I'm using. But... I literally, like, you know, I only have a VPN service for, like, when I'm on my uh, my MacBook and I'm trying to do spreadsheets at, like, a Starbucks or something. I don't want anyone getting my personal information on the same network that I am and, you know, whatever. The little things VPNs are good for. Uh, and this. This is, you know, kind of nice that you don't know where I'm at because you never know if there's... Which is funny because, like, well, I'm less safe here than I am in North Dakota. Because I was going to say, everyone knew my exact apartment room, you know? Like, I left that motherfucker so many times, like, just on camera. Like, anyone that wanted to could just, like, come up to my house and knock. But, A, I ain't that famous. And, B, you know, 
I'm not going to get killed because the whole place is on camera and like, you know, there's like dual security locks and, you know, whatever, whatever. And it's North Dakota, dude. North Dakota is full of amazing people for the most part. Some people are in North Dakota and they're like, I can't believe you'd say that. I know some fucking assholes. But every fucking dot you see is a store that sells the product we distribute. Actually, what else I could do is, uh, wow, that's a lot in Colorado. Dude, I wonder if they've uploaded this to all the stores. No, they haven't. Well, where's Japan? Oh, okay. It's way over there, dude. I looked at fucking just an island. I'm like, oh. dude, that's cute. Dude, I'm, I'm so high. I knew exactly where Japan was, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, never mind. Never mind. Because it's right... Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's a fucking globe, dude. But if you look at it like that, it's flat. <laughs> Such a fucking idiot, dude. Whoa! How is it not in North Dakota yet? Dude, you want to see an article about my uncle? It's pretty sick. But those are all stores I have to go to. Maybe not the ones not here. There it is. <clears throat> this is uh, this is my uncle, and he can't say I doxed him on the internet because uh, you know, he's fucking famous. Uh, Minnetonka maker of frozen cocktail pops is poised. I you know whatever that word means. Poised for big growth and be. I think that means he's like. Having composed and self-assured matter. She had learned from the girls at the salon how to appear perfectly poised. Okay, you know what? That's what my uncle is. He's perfectly poised. Okay, if any of you knew that fucking word before this podcast, let me know, because it doesn't exist. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but whatever. Minnetonka maker of frozen cocktail pops is poised for big growth and Beyonce played a role. Uh, yeah. In part, in part to Costco and Beyonce, yeah, but Beyonce is the head, Beyonce is the headliner, not Costco. That's how it feels at comedy clubs, dude. I'm just doing open mics right now while I get in with, like, the club owners, because I'm performing at, like, the Laugh Factory comedy store and shit, and, uh... What was I, dude, how, how high and conceited am I? Oh, uh, yeah, headliners, dude, because, you know, Beyonce headlined for Costco. So, that's how that works. But, um, yeah. Costco is planning a, na a national rollout as orders come in from retailers, including Albertsons, Hy-Vee, Target and Total Wine. Dude, we're getting in Target? That's nuts, boy! I'm gonna have so much more to do! Fuck. And dude, what I'm doing today, man, is actually crazy. I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, a huge music festival, festival event that we're sponsoring. Okay, yeah. you know what? Yeah, dude, he's killing it. I'm, uh, I'm reading that article in my head now. Poised is a word. We're available all over the country. Orders are rolling out. Beyonce did something. I like how it doesn't say what Beyonce did. What did Beyonce do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I have to subscribe now. Do I get, like, what, one free article? What? You're not gonna pay for your fucking news? What is that? That's bullshit. 
Dude, no one pays for fucking news. It's like CNN when they think they own the debates, dude. Nobody watches them. If you have to, you know, watch it on one specific thing. People like everything being available everywhere. People like their news, you know, f free. You could run ads on it. That's fine. That's what makes the news free. Do that. Don't fucking charge me whatever a dollar for four weeks. Good deal, but, like, am I going to read any other article? No. I just want to read this one. And I bet that's how they get a lot of people. You're not the New York Times. People like that can get away with it. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, my rock star name is still in Creta High. And uh, that was my... Uh, <clears throat> that was my old Xbox gamer tag. Back, back, back in the day, man. Back, back, back in the day. Wow. I got five minutes left and I'm so fucking not even proud of myself at all because I feel like this has just been one terrible, long, annoying rambling where I occasionally lose my train of thought. <clears throat> because I chose to take that one fat rip at the start and I'm still, I'm still recovering from it. And I say the start like it wasn't 45 minutes into the podcast. And I'm not just completely losing it. And I'm not giving up on it yet, dude. You know what? We got four minutes left. We're going to fucking kill this shit, dude. Okay, hip-hop, uh, bright, happy, all moods. That's what we're doing. A simple feeling. Dude, how bad is copyright-free music? But let's be honest. If anybody that's a YouTuber ever wants to use any music I put out, please do. Because you know what? A, free advertisement. Why would you not want more people listening to your songs? B, everybody gets music on Spotify and iTunes anyway. Or, or Apple Music or streaming. They all stream it. Nobody fucking pays 99 cents for a song. Some guy in the comments is like, but I do. But... It, uh, most people don't, okay? My buddy Drew buys records. That's cool. That's dope because they're records. Nobody's fucking... You know what I mean? Do you know what Drew also has besides a record player? A streaming service. He has Spotify. It, you know what I mean? And, uh... You know... If I have a song, I want to have more exposure. And that's it. I just realized him having Spotify doesn't, you know... Uh, everything gets streamed. But I think everything should be able to be shared, too. There's, like, a huge fucking, you know... I can't play WoW by Post Malone. Because, you know, that would just get me immediately, like... I would owe all the money to them. I, but if I was an artist, you know, or a record label, I'd just be happy that I'm getting more free exposure, you know, because some YouTube... Some YouTubers potentially have millions and millions of fucking, uh you know, followers, and if people, uh, if people like this song, they're not gonna, like, go rewatch the video to bump that song again, you know what I mean? They're not watching the video for the song, the song just happens to be really good, you know? If it is a really good song that you're playing, obviously music has to do with your taste, uh, I just, you know, you know what I'm fucking saying, man, I, I, uh, I'm so high. <laughs> I just think that, you know, if I had a record label, I would let people play it. For sure. Nobody goes to the fucking video for the song, man. That's bullshit. People go to the fucking video to, uh, you know, watch the video. And then they'll bump the song later, you know? They'll add it to their library. Hey, can Christa Christalia just upload a podcast? I know you watched his before mine. But, uh, Scary Island is the name of this song. I'm in. Should we go out to Scary Island? How much am I not going to get high next time unless I have another guest to bounce back and forth up with? Ladies and gentlemen, been, uh, this has been the vlogcast. 
I do feel like I owe you guys like literally one extra minute because like I spent some time walking in and out and grabbing that fucking dog, dude. And like pretending like I was with him the whole time, even though I kind of let him like walk, wander out for a little bit and do his own thing. Because, you know, if I was a dog, I'd want that fucking respect, dude. If I was a dog, bro, I want some, like, I don't want to always be on a leash. I treat Buddy with respect, dude. And that's why me and Buddy, like, hit it off so well. You know what I mean? Like, me and Buddy have a great relationship because I treat him like a man. I'm like, dude, you fucking, you know, I trust you. I trust you. There's a trust thing. And sometimes he sees a squirrel and he gets all shaky and he's, like, about to go after it. It's like, hey, man, I know you're capable of making better decisions than that. There's a street there. And nine times out of ten, but he's solid. Because I treat him like an adult, and I have for a long time. And he knows the meaning of being responsible. So, moral of the story, don't leash your dogs. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. But, uh... Ah, <laughs> uh, this song's called Coop. Give it up for, uh, Coop. Mmm. Riding in a coop, kick it with my homie Snoop. We take a poop, then I fucking throw a hoop like alley oop. Come in, shoot, goof. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been the vlogcast, and that was, uh, you know, I'll try to get a real video that I've edited out here soon. I just wanted to try, you know, do a podcast completely by myself and see how that went. And watch as I spend the whole rest of today just talking to myself and trying to get better at it. And I'm going to, like, do ten better hours while I'm driving around and going to the warehouse and getting stuff ready for this event. And then it's just, uh, whatever. Thank you.